On the obstacles that I see, the main ones, some of it is capacity constraints, how fast the government can implement certain reforms. Uh, very difficult societal discourse where instead of engaging constructively and looking for solutions, uh, some just pre prefer to criticize and cast doubts on, not just on whether something can be achieved, but also the intentions. The lack of trust that permeates the society is probably the worst obstacle. If you don't have trust, either in the government or in each other, there is only so much you can do. And that's why we're pushing for transparency, accountability, but also, um, also asking for the people to focus on the right issues, to look at the whole package of measures and reforms, uh, to think about what we're trying to do and what could, be, could happen if you start to unravel the hard reforms that have been put in place. Yes, you can unravel the VAT. Yes, you can uh, ask for ridiculous amount of increases in, in wages, and, but you don't want inflation, you don't want exchange rate depreciation. Our projections are in the public domain, again in the third review. They would not be materially difficult this time, on inflation, maybe uh, probably lower. We thought that it would take longer for the exchange rate to stabilize. Our expectations were exceeded. We thought it would take longer for the inflation to start to come down. Again, uh, our expectations were exceeded. This is not to say that we're completely happy with where inflation is right now. It's still very high, but it's on the right trend. It's going down. And if you keep the fiscal prudent, if you keep the monetary policy tight, um, and assuming that there are no other major external shocks, uh, you will be in on the right path. And that's what we all want. Thank you. Thank you.